So hi there, this is Peter Upvold, and I just want to have a rant about this, which is Office 2010. This is Outlook as part of the beta version of Office 2010. Now, I wanted to just play around with this new version of, of uh, I just wanted to play around with this new version of Office because Office is a very important program. A lot of people are going to be using this software, and you know, I, I like to to know what it's going to be like. So I, I came here into Outlook, and and I noticed, well, the new the new ribbon interface that debuted in Office 2007 has now been brought here to Outlook. And right, first off, I'm not a fan of this ribbon. We have we have this this thing here which replaces the menu bar and the toolbar as sort of one lump. And we have a relatively traditional looking file menu here with well what would be save if, if, if I'd set out look up properly and so on. Um, and options and, and quit. So that, that's where the file menu's gone to, but the rest of the menus don't exist anymore. And we have these tabs, and underneath the tabs are uh, a load of buttons relating to that particular activity. The idea being there was a lot of functionality in the Office applications, uh, and people just couldn't find that functionality through the menu bar, so hence the new interface. Now, as I said, I'm not a fan at all of this ribbon interface. And I'm going to tell you why. The way I see it, the menu bar, as 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 a menu as a um as a, as a UI concept, isn't broken. The menu bar has worked for 20 years or so. You know, longer than that, and it still works today. If your interface, if your if your piece of software has so much functionality that you can't fit it into the menus, then you need to look at cutting down the functionality, not changing the interface. People know how menu bars work. And so, and I don't think there's a particularly compelling reason to change it. The other problem is I have is just look. Despite this is meant to be the simplified interface compared to the old system, and look how many buttons. The buttons are all different sizes, so that it's not a nice clear um, target to hit with the mouse. You've got these small buttons alongside these big buttons, and then these um, load of buttons in this thing here. And there are 23, probably more, 23 buttons here on this home tab alone. Now if we compare that to Mac OS X's mail app, which I know is only a mail client and not also a piece of a, a, a groupware application, so it is perhaps not entirely a fair comparison, that has 10 buttons on the default toolbar and they're all necessary and no, you know not superfluous. They all do a job and nothing's there that doesn't need to be there. But here we have everything. I can send stuff to OneNote from here. You know, I've got all of this functionality and I go to this other tab and there's all this other functionality and you've got these small buttons with long descriptions and big buttons it feels to me very inconsistent very un very complex and very confusing and frankly no I haven't used this for a, a really long period of time but being a power user with office I've, I've used the previous versions of office 2003 and and, and before that quite extensively, I know where all the stuff is on the menu bars. So yeah, there's that argument, and there's an argument that for a new user, this is still really, really complicated. And the problem is, there's just too much functionality, I think, in these applications. They're too complicated, and there needs to be, you need to cut down the functionality first, and redesign the interface later. I just don't like this ribbon and I don't think I ever will. So there we are, there's my rant on the ribbon. And, and one thing I, I should say is the ribbon has now come across all the applications in the base Office Suite in 2010, as far as I've looked so far. So Publisher now has it, Outlook now fully has it, uh, and some of the other applications that didn't previously have it as well. So it's more consistent in that sense, but I still am not a fan of the ribbon. But there we go.